Welcome back. Here we are talking more about the seed. And last week we dissected some seeds and looked at the different parts of the seed. And today I wanna to tell you about different types of seed um, that because there are two different types that tell you all about the plant that will grow from that seed. So today we're talking about some, that some seeds have one cotyledon and some seeds have two cotyledons. Some cotyledons will not separate into those two pieces because they only have one. Um, if you think about like a corn kernel, if you've ever eaten popcorn, um, popcorn comes from a seed or a kernel of corn and it doesn't have two pieces that will come apart, it's just one kernel. And that's because it's one cotyledon. The corn kernel, corn seed, just is a one cotyledon. Plants that have one cotyledon are called monocotyledon. Mono means one. So seeds that just have one cotyledon are called monocotyledons. Like last week when we dissected the beans, we noticed that the bean, when the testa came off, the bean popped open into two cotyledons. Plants that have two cotyledons are called dicotyledons. Di comes from the Greek word meaning two. So we can look at lots of different kinds of seeds and see if they are monocotyledon or dicotyledon. And it's interesting to think about the characteristics of the plants that grow from these types of seeds. Plants that are monocotyledon always have leaves with parallel veins and they always have fasciculate roots. So I'll show you some pictures of what that means in just a minute. Monocotyledons only have one cotyledon and they have parallel veins and fasciculate roots. So let's take a uh, let's, let's take a moment to think about plants that have parallel leaves or fasciculate roots. Think about grass and think about things like, ooh, our dragon, dragon plant at school, the one that comes up like a tree, but then it has its leaves that come out and they're kind of pink and green. Those have parallel veins and fasciculate roots. Now, when we think about plants that have uh, two cotyledons or dicotyledons, they don't have parallel veins and they don't have fasciculate roots. They have what are called reticulate veins or net veins, veins that grow in a net, and they have one big tap root. So think about the plants that you know that have tap roots, one big sturdy root and veins that are more of a netted pattern instead of parallel. Things like a maple tree. When you look at a maple tree, a maple tree has a big root, but its leaves are spread out with the veins that are spread out. And think about the maple leaf. If you think about like the little helicopters that come off of the maple tree, and it has the two cotyledons with its little helicopter. So you can kind of think about what you already know about plants and think about what type of root they would be. Think about, or what kind of seed they'd be. Think about the dandelion. Dandelions are, people will believe two different things. Either they're the biggest pest in the world and you can't get rid of them and they're terrible, or they're an amazing, wonderful food source and they're beautiful. Uh, this is a seed from a dandelion. Think about dandelions. When you go to pull them, do they have roots that are spread out or do they have one root that goes really deep? Dandelions are tap roots. Dandelions have tap roots, which means that their seed would be a dicotyledon. So it's pretty cool when we think about we, we know, what we know about a plant, whether we know its vein type or its root type, we also then can know its seed type. So we'll look at some pictures and I'll talk to you about them. It's always, always this way. When, uh, I have a chart for this. When the mother plant sends off its child in the form of, a, of its seed, Here's the mother plant and here's its seed child. You can see its little packet of food on its back. Go my child and remember, you belong to the noble monocotyledons. Wherever you go, carry on this tradition. This tradition of the monocotyledons with parallel veins and in their leaves and fasciculate roots. One cotyledon, one sack of food. These are the traditions, we could say the traditions, of the mother plant to its child plant. If a monocotyledon is sending off its seed into the environment, the monocotyledon will grow a monocotyledon. It'll grow parallel veins and fasciculate roots. 
dicotyledons do the same thing, except they send their baby off with two sacks of food, two uh, cotyledons, and they create reticulate veined plants with tap roots. I can't wait to share more with you about seeds and show those pictures to you in the lesson today. I hope you enjoyed this little story and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.